Hello there guys and welcome, welcome back to the channel. So finally we have version 39.0 release notes and uh, well we are gonna break them down because there will be some interesting, some good and some definitely controversial things in it without a doubt. So let's just start with the first thing. Uh, seed of doubt tasked with protecting the powerful world, guardians of the galaxy find a crazy corner, the yada yada. It's just going to be a went quest. However, as far as I know, there will be changes to the whole event quest thing. I do not know if we have the fin full final details about it, but effectively there will be a Paragon difficulty to it. And they're gonna tune kind of like rest of the difficulty. No, well, they're not gonna tune them down, but they're basically current Thronebreaker EQ is gonna be difficulty number four, and difficulty number five is going to be actual Paragon difficulty as intended with seven star cards as the rewards so i do not have the full information of that yet i will check the forums after this video and uh, obviously i was planning to make a video about the side quest separately as well so we're gonna take a look at it definitely either later today or tomorrow pending the available information and obviously we do have our monthly event quest again uh which is not yet again the incursion tide thing we're going to see how exactly it works out, but obviously it is going to be connected with the two new champions that are being added to the game, uh, Moon Dragon and Adam Warlock. And a third disclaimer, uh, both of them are bugged currently. Both of them do things and are more powerful than they are originally intended. Uh, I believe Moon Dragon, well, we're going to explain it in details later, but Adam Warlock initially from the snippets of the deep dive that we got from the Kabam's live stream looked very very impressive moon dragon well we're gonna have to wait and see but uh yeah both of them are a bit bugged now shooting stars quest is going to be the biggest point of contention here because for those who have become paragon by completing act seven and owning at least three six star rank four champions the new shooting stars quest is coming to the ball realm to allow you to expand and empower your collection of seven star champions. The Shooting Stars quest is a permanent addition to the contest and features six maps with three parts each. So it is going to be a permanent content and that is the most important thing that I want people to remember because I know for a fact that there will be quite a few people upset because it is going to be rarity gated. All Paragon players will have access to one of the paths of the quest allowing them to collect completion rewards those with the full team of seven star champions will be able to fully explore the quest and collect exploration rewards so you will need at least five seven star champions to explore it but again it is a permanent content it is obviously always annoying or demotivating to wait but at the same time you know we all play this game with our own own perspectives and full disclosure <laughs> upon the start of this quest i will have i will likely have full team of seven stars but it is a permanent content so i don't think you know you should be kicking up a massive fuss about it again you might feel different about it and obviously we all have different perspectives of the game but challenge these new quests are, uh, to acquire seven star hero crystal shards new paragon crystals which feature four to seven star champions gold class iso selectors to help you rank up your roster and from what i know it is not meant to be new eop type of content it is just going to be a relatively easy quest that you know lets you get some of these new items if you already have the seven star shards effectively but again, as you know, within the next couple of months, you do acquire your initial five seven stars. The quest will still be there, will still be waiting for you. So again, I, I definitely expect that a lot of people will not be unhappy uh, about the fact that it is gated. But you know, it's it's just one of those things that Kabam does. And is there any need for it? No. Could they just let all Paragon players in it? Yes, absolutely. Like, do I think it's a good thing or makes sense to me? No. Do I think it's, you know, well, Kabam. The good thing, though, the interesting thing is that Kabam is updating the arenas. And there is a fairly sizable arena update to a point where 
six star champions, the new six star champions, will now not be only to top 100. They're actually quadrupling that, and the six star champions will be to top 400 players now. So you can see rank 2 to 400 will get that six star champion now. So with this change, maybe I'll try to grind for a, a, a new six star. Uh, we'll see. Will be interesting to see the cutoffs because at the moment, obviously, Arena is in abysmal state. It's all overrun with bots, and it's pretty much pointless to try and compete with because you would have to sink an in incredible amount of time and also incredible amount of uh, units for vast majority of the players. With the cutoff being top four hundred, though, for experimental purposes, uh, I'll I'll probably try and jump in it. Um, depends who is the first champion, what are the initial cutoffs and things like that, but uh, I might maybe give it a go. We'll see. Uh, at the same time, I really don't want Grind Arena again. <laughs> I really don't. But yeah, the rest of the rewards are also somewhat improved, like um, get uh, more six, a slightly more 6-star shards. Realistically, the fact that they still like give 5-star shards for top 1 to 5%, and stuff like that you know the rewards are better at the same time i don't think they're good enough to work as a very good kind of enticement for people to grind might be wrong but arena needs a lot of help and i think more than this so we'll see uh but maybe maybe i'll try to grind for something as well myself now iceman update uh i have yet to check this update so that is going to be a separate video stay tuned i will be uploading the iceman buff info hopefully this is slightly better from what we saw in the what we saw in the ccp beta uh but you know uh, i'll break it down in a bit anyhow new relics so we're getting black widow relic gamora and green goblin relic so black widow relic uh will aid champions who go after opponents defensive abilities apparently it's going to be able to make some sort of pseudo ability trigger that you can fail and thus you know trigger your skill champion abilities gamora uh is ready to power up fury and cruelty buffs especially if they rely on chance that could be interesting and then green goblin will work with power drain i know not many people are overly fast or interested in relics so i likely will not cover these relics each individually based on their abilities but it is something to be aware of that there are more relics coming to the game also, quality of life update. This time we're getting something from Kabam Zero. Number one is auto refill from stash. Sounds quite interesting. When using items such as potions, energy refill, signature stones, the game will automatically refill those items from the stash. That was fair enough. And also, it will not work on ISO and catalysts. And I, I suppose I can kind of see why not working on ISO in case you know you need to claim different class or different rarity ISOs and stuff like that. Not sure why it doesn't work on Catalyst necessarily. I think, you know, there's no reason why it wouldn't. But uh, yeah, so this auto claim from Stash, quite neat. And here is that Express Arena thing that uh, effectively doesn't account to too much. A new perk is being added to Summoner's Sigil Arena Express mode, removing some screens and animations. It can be toggled on or off when picking your Arena team. Now, obviously, this will still put the sigil owners at advantage when grinding for champions because you will spend less time on loading screens and thus will be able to grind faster but it ultimately isn't any kind of like mega express where you can you know grind one hour and equal it to three hours for somebody with no sigil or something like that it, it will be a slight increase in speed likely but uh luckily it's nothing too major either uh, but definitely still, you know, grinding for champions, probably the difference can add up to something relatively significant. So we'll see how it actually looks. So known issues, Adam Warlock and Moondragon. <laughs> At launch, both of them are bugged. Moondragon will be stronger than planned because she's protected from all sorts of poison when she only meant to be protected from champions and nodes. And that means that she will effectively be taking less damage or no damage from your liquid courage mastery which is not how it's meant to work and adam warlock will be stronger than planned at release because he's protected from all sources of nullify when she when he only should be protected from 
uh, ones from champions, not including nodes. So he is not meant to ignore like power snack or buffet nodes and stuff like that, but he will initially. And uh, yeah, so both of them are coming to the game bugged. There are several bug fixes as well, uh, most of whom I don't think are too significant. Fix an issue where some champion and striker combinations cause the first hit of striker's combo to whiff. That is important, that is good. Um, what else? This is bad one. <laughs> Change the name of special lock node to power lock and fix the bad interaction with Golan, Galen, causing him to instantly gain 999 planetary mass. This is something that I did in map 8 a lot, and this is the reason why I actually brought Galen to map 8, because uh, section 1, all shared fights were like super easy and quick with him. So they took away his interaction with, I believe, uh, Optimist or Pessimist nodes, and they are taking this interaction as well. I, I, I kind of see why it is busted, it is broken, but it doesn't mean that I have to like it. Uh, right, anything else uh, that is kind of important? Several fixes were made to the way Balgrounds fights are resolved, so hopefully we'll see less bugs in Balgrounds. Emma Frost and Venom's weight prevention is no longer tied to ability accuracy. That is good. And uh, other than that, I think that's pretty much it. Fix an issue where the Defender tab of the buff node info screen being disabled while spectating previewing a QAW. Okay, fair enough. Uh, yeah. So that is more or less the update. So let me know what you guys think. Um, there is an arena rewards buff that perhaps we will discuss further on the weekend video. Uh, what do you guys think about that? And then is the shooting stars quest. Yet again, again, I know that there will be some people who are definitely not happy with that one. And uh, obviously changes to the side event. So yeah, um, it, it, things are changing. This isn't going to be like an empty month in my opinion, but let me know what you guys uh, think about it. Do you like the update? Do you not like the update? And I'm going to catch you guys soon. So yeah, bye. Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So we have all the information about 